Hello everyone, Daniel here from the Next Issue Podcast. Today's video is a review of Darkhold uh, Omega number one. This is the second one shot for the Darkhold story. Uh, a few weeks ago, we got the Darkhold Alpha, which kind of kicked off the story. Then we got a series of one shot issues for each one of the heroes introduced in this story. Now, if you're not familiar with what happened in that issue, let's go take a look at the creative team. Then I'll talk a little bit more about what's going on to catch everybody up. Uh, on this conclusion of that event. Uh, so this uh, this specific issue was written by Steve Orlando with art by Cian Tormi, uh, with Robert Poggi, Mark Daring, and Walden Wong doing inks, uh, Jesus Albertov doing colors, Clayton Cowles on letters, and uh, in production, very important, I think, and we'll, we'll talk about that in a minute, uh, and Chris Bacalo on cover, on the cover. This is a fantastic cover. I actually, this one ran out of my shop. Um, I was not able to find this cover, uh, so I'll have to go look for it at a different place. Uh, I picked up a different cover, which was still very good. Uh, it has Doctor Doom and um, Scarlet Witch, which are kind of the protagonists of the story. So if you're not caught up in this, in the previous issue, the Alpha, which you can also check out our review for that, uh, Doctor Doom Unearthed the Darkhold, which is the book that pretty much has all this magic. Um, and it was created by the Elder God. Uh, Kathan is how I've been saying it. Uh, now, after reading from the book, Kathan has been released from his prison, and now it is up to the Scarlet Witch uh, and the heroes that she has amassed, Iron Man, Blade, the Wasp, Black Bolt, and Spider-Man, to, uh, to seal this dimension and put Kathan back on their prison, uh, also having to deal with Doctor Doom and all that. So, uh, it's a, it seems like a very... This is actually a very straightforward story. The main story itself takes place in the dark hold alpha and the omega but the issues in between are one shots for each one of the heroes uh, that uh they're just really fun but really dark stories the the creative teams on those books are amazing um and they really add a lot of like weight and levity to this not levity a gravity to this event uh so i definitely recommend you go read all this stuff like read it in release order I think it'll make the most sense. So let's talk a little bit about what's going on here. So in this issue, our heroes have to, you know, make everything happen after the events of all those things. Uh, our heroes have been turned into these dark creatures, and now it is up to Wanda uh, to bring everyone back. So let's take a look at some art, and we'll talk more about the story. Uh, so we know that Cthone is in this other realm. Uh, I also really, <clears throat> one thing I wanted to mention here was I love the way Marvel does the lettering, like the font they use for uh, uh, demonic type of creatures. Like Mephisto has the same, it has a different uh, color palette, but it has the same structure with the little dots in some of the letters underneath. Uh, I, I would love to talk to a letterer uh, just how this, uh, how this font came to be. Um, so I really like the construction of this world, which is pretty much, it looks like our world, but just in a total, like, hellscape, apocalypse type of place. Um, and then here we see the heroes and the redesigns, uh, as Wanda in, uh, you know, tries to keep the, the dark hold, uh, away from them because they are, they, they were brought in to seal back Cthulhu, but they, they unfortunately read too much from the dark hold. It's a whole thing. Go back and read uh, issue alpha and the one shots, and I think you'll enjoy um, enjoy those stories. <clears throat> but yeah, look, I really think the the redesigns are very cool. Um, the the fights and, and everything that happened in this book are very dynamic. I really like the the, the color choice as well, especially because when you have magic involved, uh, you definitely want to have something that looks really colorful and, and gives you that feel of like. An extra layer on your page, which I think the lettering also does, with the uh, with the yellow text in the black bubbles. Um, <clears throat> so here we have one more page of one that kind of trying to take everyone out, trying to make things happen so she can do whatever she needs to do. With the dark hold, sends everybody to the other realm, uh, and then the last thing, without going into any spoilers for the end of the story, one thing I really wanted to focus on, um, and I think Clayton Cowles, who's uh, I mean, he's been working on comics for forever. Uh, this is Black Bolt. So you guys know that Black Bolt's power is to, whenever he speaks, uh, his voice uh, produces a loud, loud waves of 
of impact. Uh, so I love here that even though he just says a small word, and you can see how uh, the letter uh, uh, Clint Cowles just focused on making it even smaller, like just a really small in the letter bubble. But then we have this next panel with uh, the super loud sound effects, and that's kind of what it, it meant by lettering and production because the letter is in charge of doing all this stuff, as far as I know, uh, putting all these sound effects and all that stuff. Obviously, they have to work with the artist to understand how they're going to do all that. Uh, so, yeah, I think some of that stuff, that you just can't do it in any other medium. Uh, and I think that the team just really nails it here. Uh, overall, this is a really fun story. Like, it, it's very... Um, I don't want to say inconsequential, but it doesn't have any ramifications. At least you don't need any prior knowledge uh, even to understand. Like, you just need to maybe kind of know peripherally, like, what is the dark hole? Who's Wanda? Who's Dr. Doom? Uh, everything else kind of gets explained. And even all those things, like, they give you a little bit of background story. And the, they're very good at doing exposition. Steve Orlando just, you know, he's been working on comics for a long time. He knows how to do uh, exposition that doesn't feel like exposition uh, and kind of catch up new readers. So uh, they definitely, definitely did a good job. I really love this event. Uh, it's one of my favorite things that kind of kicked off in 2021. Uh, so I look forward to seeing what are some of the other ramifications of like the, like what happens at the end of the story. Uh, so stay tuned for that. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching everyone. Remember to share, like, subscribe, hit the bell. So, you know, when we go live, uh, that is most Sundays, 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. And stay tuned because we have more comic reviews, movie reviews, trailer reactions, TV reviews and recaps, all that good stuff in the channel. So thanks for watching, everyone. Bye-bye.